Okay, so you want to be able to put text in front of an image in a Microsoft Word document. So I've got a number of examples here. You might just have standard text that you want to label an image with, like I have done here. Or you might have some decorative text that you want to appear over the top of an image like this. Or you might want decorative text on an image within a shape. So I'll show you all three methods. Now we'll start off with this basic example. I've got standard text and I want it to appear in front of the image. I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. The second way is probably best. But anyway, let's show you the first way. Now if I select this image, you'll see that there's a little layout options button top right of the image. If I click on that, at the moment the image is in line with text. Now I need to change that so it's behind text. That's easy to do, I'll just select this option here, behind text. You can see now that the text in my document jumps up and appears in front of the image. Now I don't want it in that position, so what I'm gonna do is click before it, press enter a few times. It comes down to the bottom of the image, then I'll probably format it, change the font color to white, and I might put a space in front of the text, just so it's not so close to the edge of the image. Now, the only problem with this is if I move the image, it doesn't move with the text. If I put another return in front of my text, it would come down below the image. So I don't think this is my favorite way of achieving this solution. So let's look at the second way. So here we are again, I've got my text below my image and I've removed any layout option changes that I previously applied to the image. What I would do is I'd cut this text and then I would insert a text box. So I go to the insert tab on my ribbon, go over to the text box button and then draw text box. Now I want the text box down here and then I'm going to paste in my text, Control V. Make the text box large enough for the text. Now, by default, the text box will appear with a border and a white background. But with the text box selected, you have the Shape Format tab on your ribbon. If you go to Shape Fill, you can remove the fill color if you want to. And you can also remove the outline if you want to. I can also change the color of the text. I can do that here, I can change it to white. So now I can move this text round within the image and place it exactly where I want it to be positioned. Now, if I want to better move this image around the document and the text to move with it, first of all, I need to select the image, go up to my layout options button, and I would go for something like square that'll allow me to move the image around the document. But you may have noticed that the text has now disappeared. Now I can get around that really easily by going to the picture format tab on my ribbon, go to selection pane. And here it will show the shapes or pictures that you have on your document. Now I'm gonna select the text box there and I'm gonna move it up and it will reappear in your document. So now I want to group together the image and the text. So the text is already selected. I hold down control on my keyboard and now I'm going to select the image. You can see I have selection handles around the text box and the image. So I'm going to go to the picture format tab on my ribbon. I'm going to go to the group button and group. So now the image and the text move together as one. So next, let's look at how to put decorative text in front of your image. Now with this example, I want to put some decorative text directly in front of this image. I don't have the text in my document. Instead, I'm going to use WordArt. Now to use WordArt, you go to the Insert tab on your ribbon, and then over to the Text group, to the WordArt menu, and then I'm going to select this WordArt. I'm going to drag the word art over my image and then I'm going to type my text. Then I can position it wherever I want it to appear on the image and I can resize this text box. If I want to increase the font size, 
and go to the home tab on my ribbon and use the increase font size button. Now you don't have to stick with the default font that the word art feature gives you. From the font menu, I'm going to choose this font here, Sonic XBDBT. And also I can play around with the borders on the word art. If I go to this button here, text effects and typography, and go to outline there and change the outline color. I can also go in here and add shadows and even things like reflections, maybe slightly overkill. Anyway, once you've got your word art exactly as you want it, the next thing you're probably gonna to want to do is get the image and the text to move together as one object. Currently, they won't do that. So your first step to do that would be to select your image and then go to this layout options button and select this option here, square. And what happens when you do that is that the word art seems to disappear. It's easy to get back, you do. The image still selected, go to picture format, selection pane, and here are the two objects in my Word document. Currently, you can see the text box is underneath the picture. So if I select the text box, and move it up, then it reappears on top of the photo. Now the Text box already selected. If I hold down control on my keyboard and select the photo, you can see that they're both selected now. And then I can go to picture format, group and group. And now the image and the text are one object and they move together. So the third and final method I'm gonna show you is how to get an image in a shape, but with text in front of it. Now for this example, I'm gonna start with a blank page and I'm going to insert a shape that's insert shapes and I'm going to choose this shape here which you'll find down here in the rectangles group I'm going to draw my shape and on the shape format tab I'm going to go to shape fill picture select where you're going to get your picture from I'm going to pick it from somewhere on my computer and browse for your picture now you'll see that the picture appears within the shape. Now the great thing about these shapes is you can type directly into them. So it doesn't require a text box. Now I can select the text, go to the home tab on my ribbon, increase the font size, automatically be centered within the image. I can change the font. And if necessary, I can add outlines or whatever I want to now, there's no need to group the text using this method because the text is part of the shape. If for whatever reason you didn't want the text centered within the shape, what you can do is right click in the shape, go to format shape, and over here on this task pane, go to text options, then go to this button, layout and properties, and you can change the alignment of your text here. That's the vertical alignment. So if I said bottom, then the text would appear at the bottom of the image. I could also say top. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.